back to my channel. For today's video we have my monthly haul where I'll be going over all the items that I've purchased throughout the course of November. There will be some overlap between things that I purchased in November going into December's haul because I haven't quite fully made all of my Black Friday purchases yet. At the point I'm filming this video I have made a purchase from Colourpop and also Tarte but they have not long been shipped so obviously hadn't arrived in time but they are part of technically my November purchases so I will probably do those at the beginning of next month's haul or if I'm short of a video I can always do a just Black Friday haul in the beginning of the month. There are a few things here that I have picked up in early Black Friday sales at the point I'm filming this, it hasn't quite been Black Friday yet. I am filming a little bit earlier to try and catch up with myself. So I haven't fully taken advantage of the sales yet, but I definitely have enough here to be getting on with. So why don't we get started? I'll start first of all with a previous Colourpop purchase that I made because it has already been featured on my channel. And that is of the Child Palette, which is inspired by the TV show The Mandalorian. I did do a eyeshadow palette bingo sort of first impressions video of this which I will have linked in the cards. This is such a pretty palette and I am so glad that I picked it up. At the point I made my purchase I was really restrained and just picked up this palette. Because I knew they probably were going to have some Black Friday deals I thought I would save any other purchases until then which I've obviously done but I did just pick this palette up by itself and I am really glad I've picked it up. It is a gorgeous palette and I'm excited to play with it a bit more. Then I made a couple of purchases from Feel Unique. I think most of the items I purchased were on sale or I had some form of discount against them. The first thing I picked up was this setting powder from Beauty Bakery. This is the flower setting powder. This was a product that I tried for the first time, I think it was last month, in a sample that I got from a Feel Unique beauty kit and I immediately fell in love with the powder. The only issue was with the small size one that I had that the packaging of it was terrible and it kept going everywhere. So because I knew it was one I was going to eventually repurchase anyway, I thought I would just get the big one now. I haven't even actually opened this one yet, even though I've had it for a few weeks at this point. So I'll just open it now. Absolutely love the packaging. Everything fits the kind of beauty bakery aesthetic. And then this is how the package itself comes. So it is a really good size pot of product and it does have a sift in there which is excellent because say the mini that i had was just a pot of the powder and it just kept going absolutely everywhere so I'm excited to now have a sifter i just need to try and find some way to possibly get the rest of the sample pot that i have in here without breaking that sifter I'm excited to have this as a technical backup because it's a product i already know that i love and i didn't actually pay full price for this one this is usually 22 pounds 50 but I had a couple of gift vouchers and a discount code to use against it. So I only actually paid £13 for it. Next, I picked up this gift set from Physicians Formula. This is one of their Muru Muru butter sets. I think that's how you say it. And this includes three of their butter lipsticks and also a lip mask. These ones are in the shades Morven to Brazil, Acai Berry and Soaking Up the Sun. I do already have one of these lip butters but I think the shade is Pinkini, so it's none of these shades that I have, but I do really love the formula of the lip butters, especially because I am working from home at the moment, I'm not really needing any long lasting lipsticks, and I do just want something comfortable to kind of apply throughout the course of the day, and these are perfect for that. They are really moisturising and really soft. The only downside with them is they can get a little bit messy because they are so soft, but they definitely do keep my lips nice and moisturised and I'm glad I now have three different shades. And also I've got this lip sleeping mask as well. It doesn't say if this is fragranced in any way, but I do love a good lip mask and I really enjoy the Laneige sleeping mask. So I'm excited to kind of compare that and see what it's like. I purchased this gift set, it was heavily discounted. I think it was about £30 full price, but with the discount that they had off it, which I think was about 40 or 50% and then I managed to use a gift voucher against that as well. I did get this for about £10, which for me, for the three lipsticks and one of the lip masks, I think is definitely worth it. So I'm excited to break into this. Next thing I picked up was something from The Ordinary and this is their 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I believe I saw Jessica Braun talking about this product and I was literally watching one of her videos as I was browsing the Fill Unique website. So because she raved quite highly about it, it wasn't too expensive. 
I think it had 10% off at the time, so I just decided to give it a go. I've not tried a rosehip seed oil before, so excited to see what it's like. Then I purchased another gift set, and this is one from Bare Minerals, and it's the It's a Blur, and it's a mini blush and matte lip colour set. Is this really cute little set, and it comes with one of their Bounce and Blur blushes. I did purchase a gift set from them, I think it might have been last year at this point, or maybe even the beginning of this year, obviously this year has been a bit of a mess and what I thought I was getting in that gift set was one of the Bounce and Blair blushes but it was just one of their normal ones so when I see it I could pick one up and especially in mini format because I have a lot of blushes in my collection it does take a lot for me to get through one I'm more than happy to have one in a mini and then the lip product is one of their mini gen nude matte lipsticks and it's in the shade Juju which it says is a deep rose mauve I have one of these in my collection in the shade Friendship, which is what I got in the other set, but Friendship is one I've had in the past and I know I love that shade. Juju is a shade that when I've seen it swatched, it does look really nice, so I'm excited to give that a go. It's in the shade Mauve Sunrise and it's not very mauve to me, it is, it is more red toned, maybe that's where the sunrise comes into it. So I'm excited to give it a go and I don't think I paid quite £10 for this set. I do believe it was quite cheap for this set, so I thought it was worth a go. And then the final product from Feel Unique is this product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And this is the new mini version of this palette. Really gorgeous packaging. I'm trying to reflect myself too much. And then this is the inside. It is definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. I did think it was going to be kind of teeny tiny based on how big I'd seen videos of the original sized one. So I have always added up the full size of this one, but I think it is... I think it's around the £40 mark, so that was too much for me to spend, whereas this one is £25, which I think is much more reasonably priced, especially because you do still get quite a lot of products. I would like to see it compared to the full size, so I might actually have to kind of look up and see if someone's taken a side-by-side -side photo. But I didn't pay full price for this either. I think I had a £5 gift voucher, so I paid £20 for it, which I'm more than happy to pay, and I am really excited to give it a go. It does look like a gorgeous champagne coloured highlight and it does look like it will be quite natural which is what I like to go for and then this does look like a really good shade match for the sculpt side which I don't really contour but I'll give it a go with this and otherwise it might work as a good bronzer so I'm excited to give this a go and even though it's already covered in fingerprints when I took it out of the box for two seconds it is gorgeous packaging Next, I just have a sort of individual product, and this is from Dr. Botanicals and is their Hemp Infused Natural Nutrition Moisturiser. They do actually have a sort of scheme on their website where you can apply to review products and all you have to do is pay postage. This is a moisturiser that I have wanted to try, so for me to just pay the postage on it, it was worth a go. And then I just have to write a review on it on their website, which I do tend to review do anyway when I purchase products if not obviously I do it in this form as well because I do just love reviewing products so I'm excited to give this one a go and see what it's like I've not tried too much kind of hemp infused products so I was really intrigued by it and all I had to pay was a sort of four pound shipping so if you are interested in that program I would definitely look it up because it is great to to try products and just pay the shipping I do also have a influencers program which I did just very recently sign up to after getting this because I believe I got this on their reviewer program and then after I received this I then got an email saying I could apply for the influencer program because I had already linked my Instagram and my YouTube to their website so I'm now part of their influencer program so I don't know exactly what that means whether it's the same thing I just get a code but I have put the code that they've given me in the description box below it isn't 100% clear what it actually entitles you to some of the things that I got say it's 5%, some say 10%, so I'm not too sure. But if you click the link on purchase anything, obviously thank you in advance. This is all still a bit new to me, so it's in the description box, as is a lot of other referral links from websites I have, which most you just get for signing up. I do always link them down there, so if anyone ever uses my referral links, kind of thank you in advance. But I think they're kind of just finding their feet with the ones on Dr Botanicals, but I'm excited to try the moisturiser anyway. The next product I have is another kind of standalone product and that is a purchase I made from Pure and this is something from their Barbie collaboration. I'm not going to lie, I pretty much bought this because of the packaging. I mean, even the outer box is absolutely stunning. I am a huge fan of Barbie. 
I have obviously been since I was a child. So now I pass that love of Barbies onto my daughter. She has also inherited my Barbies from when I was a child. So when I seen this collaboration was released, I thought I had to pick something up from it. This is the packaging of the bullet itself. And even though I thought the box was nice, this is just absolutely gorgeous and it feels so luxe. I actually purchased this direct from the Pure Cosmetics US site. They do have a UK site, but the shipping on there is not much cheaper than purchasing from the US site, but all people's discount codes don't work on the UK site. So, so I believe I used Raw Beauty Christie's code, which I think is just Christie, because you then get 30% off everything. So the cost of this with the 30% off and the shipping actually worked out about five pounds cheaper than if I was to purchase it from the UK site. So, so I purchased it from the US. And um, because I did just purchase a single product, it did fall under the threshold, so I didn't have to pay any customs. I don't even know how you actually open this lipstick. Oh, okay, so you push Barbie's head at the top and it pops down. Oh, and it's damaged. This literally arrived this morning and I don't know if you can see at the top there, it's all been crushed down slightly. That is really disappointing. So I'm gonna have to try and contact their customer service. Oh, the, the lipstick's really wonky in the tube as well. Oh, that's such a shame. The packaging, even just the detail on the tube is gorgeous with the Barbie imprint head on the top and then Pure X Barbie on the side. But we have lipstick on the side there and I say the lipstick is really wonky in the tube. So that's obviously seen better days in transit. So I will try and email them to see if there's anything I can do because that's such a shame. It does look like a really gorgeous shade and I know I did predominantly purchase it for the packaging, but I do obviously want a lipstick in good condition, so I will have to contact them about that. But yeah, really glad I picked it up. My next purchase was something non-makeup, and then I do have a couple of quite bulky hauls from Beauty Bay and e.l.f. So this is a candle set that I picked up from Yankee Candle, purchased from Just My Look. So this comes with a really nice glass candle holder, and then it has three festive candles. We have Unwrap the Magic, Singing Carols and Surprise Snowfall. These all smell really lovely and really festive and I'm really excited to start lighting them. I did put this in this haul to stop me lighting it in the middle of the month. I do want to kind of preserve it until December, although I don't know if we're going to go through three candles in December, but we will see. So I thought, I thought this was a really cute set and I absolutely love the holder that it comes with as well. It's got gold on the inside and I think it's just going to look really nice. So I'm excited to start lighting these probably tomorrow and I'll film the video. So then for my final two hauls, the first one is from e.l.f. They did recently have a decent sale on their website, so I took advantage of that. The first thing I picked up was their Holy Hydration Face Cream and I got the fragrance free one and it has hyaluronic acid and a peptide complex. I've heard so many people talking about this moisturiser and saying how good it is. And now I'm looking at the top and seeing a goldfish. I'm thinking, I'm hoping I don't have this product because I do have an e.l.f. moisturiser in my skincare box, which I vaguely recollect has a goldfish on the top, but I don't think it's this one, but I just had a kind of deja vu with the fish. But I'm really excited to give this a go because I have heard such great things about it. I also picked up one of their Ride or Die lip balms. This one is in the shade Tough Cookie and looks like a really nice kind of neutral nude shade. Although it's a lip balm, so I don't know how pigmented it is. Definitely needing more lip balm, especially now it's getting colder. And again, working from home, I don't really need long lasting lip products. So lip balm is kind of the product that I want to reach for. So excited to give that a go. I also picked up one of their Sheer Slick lipsticks. I've been really intrigued by the formula of these comparing them sort of to the Fenty ones as well. I did want to try the Fenty ones, but thought I'd give the e.l.f. one a go first because I think they are quite comparable. I went for a bit of a risk and went for the shade Black Cherry because I don't think these are very pigmented. So I'm hoping this will just be like a nice kind of flush of colour on the lips. Although now I'm thinking I maybe should have gone for a slightly lighter shade, but we'll see. I don't mind rocking too much of a berry lip in the festive period, but it does look like it might be quite dark, but excited to give it a go. And I also picked up another lipstick, which I'd kind of not appreciated. This is one of their Seriously Satin lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Cider, and look like a really gorgeous deep brown shade. Again, sort of very autumn winter type shade. 
this is a new line i believe although it does look like they're older sort of cheaper range lipsticks but i do believe this is a new line in their collection i'm excited to give this one a go i don't have too many satin lips in my collection so it will be a nice addition I then finally picked up the elf hydro camo concealer i do have the original camo concealer but it's not the best shade match for me so i went for light ivory because it did compare it to a darker one in the camo range I don't understand why they kind of have two different shade ranges in a, the same line of concealers. They're both camo concealers, just one's hydrating. So it is a very confusing line to try and shade match. So hopefully with light ivory, I've gone right. Although I'm not too sure. I'll have to give it a go. But I've heard good things about the actual concealer itself. So you can see what it's like. I also picked up one of their liquid glitter shadows. And I got this in the shade Flirty Bertie. Not Flirty Bertie. <laughs> flirty beardy even and this looks like a really nice rose gold shade and again something nice for the sort of festive period i do have a couple of liquid eyeshadows i have a silver and a gold so that's why i thought i'd go for a rose gold and then finally i picked up one of their skincare sets this is the jet set hydration kit so this includes the daily face cleanser the prep and hydrate balm the daily hydration moisturizer and the illuminating eye cream i do absolutely love their daily facial cleanser i do think this is just the normal one i don't think this is any different but i don't mind having another one of these because it is my go-to everyday facial cleanser and then i do want to try their other little hydrating products as well i didn't mention the nourishing night cream which is here so i think it's a nice little set that is pretty much a whole skincare routine for sort of day and night and i do really like hydrating products and i think this was only about 12 pounds 50 if not £15 and then again everything was quite heavily discounted on checkout so that was my little elf haul and then finally I picked a few things up from Beauty Bay they did start their Black Friday sale early with a lot of things being 30% off so I think everything I purchased was 30% off the first thing I got was another lip product which as you've seen I definitely need this is from Dose of Colours and was in their collaboration with Mickey Mouse this is one of their Lit It Up Satin Lipsticks in the shade Forever. The box is lo looking a little bit sorry for itself. I think it might have been dropped by someone a few times, but the product itself inside is fine. So this is how the packaging comes. It is a really nice, I can get the lid off, a really nice nudie brown shade and definitely a nice everyday shade. And with it being a satin formula, it's not going to be the longest lasting, but something that I don't kind of mind wearing around the house or for zoom calls and things like that so excited to have that and absolutely love the packaging then i picked up another lip product and this one is from ofra and this is one of their lip glosses so this one is in the shade bear which i believe is one of their newer releases so i have tried both their liquid lipsticks and their flexi stick formulas i do really like both of the formulas more so the liquid lipstick the flexi stick one that i got it's either flexi stick or flexi slick i never remember i didn't get the best shade so that one doesn't 100 percent work for me the formula is nice but i say the shade does kind of put me off that one so i thought i would give their gloss formula a go this one looks like a really gorgeous kind of everyday nude shade again very similar to the dose of colors product but i did want to try their formula this was 30 percent off so the perfect time to try it then i picked up a mini blush palette then I picked up a mini blush palette from Jouer. This is one of their blush bouquet palettes and it's the rose gold shade. This is how the package itself comes. Absolutely gorgeous packaging. I've gone to purchase one of these palettes, be it the full size or the minis, on so many occasions but never actually checked out. They are normally £15, so I think it was about £10 or £11 or something. These are both really gorgeous shades and definitely the kind of pinky tones that I like to reach for. And even though this is a mini, there is more than enough products in here for me to be getting on with. I have a lot of blush in my collection which if you did see my recent blush collection tag you will see so i definitely didn't need a full size blush in my collection excited to give this a go and finally see what the formula is like just stuck the plastic sheet into it that was a good start let's pretend that didn't happen the palette now has a dent in the pan which is great and then the final product that i purchased is another one that i've actually lost count of the amount of times that i've added this to a basket and never checked out but I have finally purchased it and it is the Marvelous Morphs palette from Dose of Colours. This is a gorgeous all matte palette. I haven't appreciated that it did come with a little brush as well, but I don't know how much use I'll get out of that. But here is the palette itself. Obviously, it is from the same sort of colour story, 
but for me I'm hoping this one will kind of push me out of my comfort zone I do always go in with a shimmery product over the lid it's not very often that I do an all matte look when I create an eye look I do like to do it out of one palette so hopefully reaching for this palette will encourage me to just do all matte looks and I am really excited to break into this one and kind of see what looks I can achieve. So with this having the 30% off, I think this was about £22. So I'm excited to give that a go and finally purchased it after putting it in my basket a million times. So if you've seen recent videos, you did see that I was supposed to be on an eyeshadow palette no buy. I've broken that numerous times since I said I was going to be on it. So I've now decided that I'm going to allow myself to purchase the eyeshadow palettes that I want before the end of the year in the hope that I can really cut down in 2021. Looking at the eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection, I don't think there's many gaps that I need to fill. I think I have a little bit of everything that I like now. So in theory, I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I probably didn't need any more eyeshadow palettes about 10 or 20 palettes ago, but I do want to sort of purchase what I want to purchase now and then try come January, or maybe February because I do like the January sales but at some point at the beginning of the year kind of put a halt on things and don't purchase any more. It's going to be really hard because the eyeshadow palettes are definitely one of my vices and have been something that I've enjoyed playing with throughout this year. They've definitely been an escape for me so it will be hard to stop purchasing them but I really do need to because it's getting a bit much now. But that is it for everything I purchased in the month of November. If you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks! Thank you.